Uh, 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 Datuk Hajida, uh, Puan Hafiza, Puan Hafiza, ya? Yeah? Eh, uh, Puan Hafiza di mana? Kam, kam. Ah, oh, sorry. F cukup eh? Ah, okay. ada lebih tu kau si ya. Tapi uh, Aji boleh dok. I think I switch off the lights ni ya. So, uh, can we have the first speaker? Cik, you have a question ya? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya ucapkan terima kasih lah kepada speakers. Eh? I miss uh, Datuk Hajida dengan Datuk uh, Ahmad Tamimi. Kan datang lambat ni. Tak boleh sihat. Eh? Tak boleh sihat. <coughs> Jadi saya nak beri uh, beberapa pandangan. Eh? Terutama pandangan Tan Sri tadi dan juga pandangan Datuk Ghazali Yusuf. Yang Datuk Jeda, I cannot comment because I, do, I was not present. Tan Sri ada mengatakan bahawa kerajaan British dengan saudara Cina menghalau Melayu keluar dari Kuala Lumpur. Dan diberi 240 ekar eh, tanah apa yang dipanggil kampung Uh, Malay Agricultural Settlement MAS kamu baru dan ini di bawah indangan tanah 1856 kalau tak silap saya ha. jadi um, orang Melayu hanya boleh ber, bertanam padi saja untuk memberikan bekalan padi beras kepada kepada rakyat Kuala Lumpur pada masa itu itu terhad jadi dari sini kita 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 dapati bahawa kita bukan rasis. Kita pluralism, plural pluralisme eh? dan setiap bangsa tu dah boleh memberikan sumbangan pada pembangunan negara. Ini kita saya akui. Orang Melayu boleh ada. Orang Melayu dari segi management memang bagus. Tapi of late dari segi management pun dah nazak sikit. Ah. Dari politik pun dan Nazak juga. Jadi, um, tapi orang Cina ialah dia industrious. Orang, orang India pun industrious. Kerana mereka ialah kaum imigran. Eh? Kaum imigran. Jadi, memang dia, dia negara dia di India dan Cina. Itu itu asal eh? asal uh, vision mereka. Iaitu mengambil, meng, 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 mengumpul kekayaan dan balik. Dia hantar ke Cina dan India. Tapi orang Melayu tidak. Orang Melayu adalah katakan dia yang sopan santun dan sebagainya dan menerima eh? menerima kaum-kaum imigran. Kerana orang Melayu ni terkenal dengan sopan santunnya. Tapi kaum-kaum imigran tidak. Eh? Dia, time is a factor. Uh, Haji, sila beri soalan. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Uh, saya ada lain ramai lagi dan nak okay. tanya soalan. Jadi saya okay. cuma saya nak saya nak nak tu nak fokuskan pada MAS Melayu Agri Settlement dan juga kampung-kampung Melayu eh Malay Reserve eh kawasan Malay Reserve seperti di Pencala seperti di uh, Segambut semua kawasan Malay Reserve ni telah dimansuhkan digeserkan Haji uh, soalan daripada Haji uh, soalan tu itu amplifying the the masih di apa ni the, the status of the Malays dan dan uh, Datuk Razali Yusof ialah satu motivasi yang sangat baik ialah Nusantara dan mereka contribution bukan saja orang, orang Mandaling, orang Rawa, orang ni eh, orang Bonjol. Tapi orang Jawa, orang Bugis semua merupakan uh, komplot Melis yang di, diwartakan oleh Dato' On, Dato' On Jaafar. Eh. Okay. Okay. Itu saja lah sikit penerangan. Terima kasih. Maaf, maaf, maaf. Mengambil masa sikit. Terima kasih. Kampung Baru uh, 1900 diwartakan Kampung Baru 1900 but prior to that uh, uh, 1898 penempatan orang Melayu di Kampung Baru 
Then gazetted what 1900. So uh, please make sure it's a question. The speakers are on this side. Yeah, so make sure, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, advocate, straightforward. Uh, first, when did the name Water uh, became Kuala Lumpur? Again, I would like to address to Professor. I don't believe Professor Ghazali. I, I don't believe, uh, I mean, from what was said today, the Malays are entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, mostly coming from Sumatra. What happened after the war? Where are the, the entrepreneur Malays now? We have heard of so many names. Uh, I can name a few lah, among, among some uh, Haji type. Uh, and then uh, Sultan. Where are they now? What happened to the entrepreneurial spirit in the Malays? Why do we need, of course we need the government help, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Sure. The third, I saw what immigration, immigracy. Yeah. As though the Malays are not uh, residents here before the coming of the Sumatrans, I think the word, a proper, a better word, if I can suggest, is hijrah. Age of uh, mindset. Yes. Kita uh, dia dia apa dia suruh uh, merantau. Yes. So penghijrahan is better than immigrasi. Immigrasi is a translation of the English word. Um, the last one is a few Victorians here. Yeah. Won't identify them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why Mara Busta? Okay. Uh, this is the whole purpose of us getting together because there are a lot of facts that has not been. Uh, not unearthed, but brought forward to the fore for discussion and general acceptance that that is the truth of the story. And this is why, uh, just now you mentioned pendatang and all this kind of thing. These are just istilah. And I have in my own book written about pendatang. Pendatang doesn't mean negative. Unfortunately, today, the word pendatang is negative. It is not. It's positive. Without the pendatang, there's no development. The challenge upon the pendatangs are much greater than the residents. And it's always the pendatang that will influence as well as inspire the locals. Okay, that's my first uh, response. In, in the case of uh, uh, the Malay uh, agriculture settlement, yeah? I think uh, Tansri, in your introduction just now is correct. Actually, when the British came in and favoured the non-Malays because they are non-Malays. The British were non-Malays. So, logically, they have to seek support from fellow non-Malays. And that's how the uh, synergy became what it was. But as late as, or as early or as 19, uh, 1890, just before 1890, the British themselves, who has started to influence even the land matter, land issues, land titles were issued by, by them. They reintroduced what was earlier practice by the Malays. They are not uncivilized, they are civilized. They have systems, you know? And they were able to mentabirkan kawasan Kuala Lumpur atau Muara Bustak ni. You know? So all that was replaced. Read. And you will find out. I've just finished reading only two chapters of Prof. Ezra Nya Arbi Nya Buku. Bau Keluar. You know? Just out. Try and get a copy of it and read. Then you, be, you realize that there's a lot of things that make sense to the development of KL. Yeah? Now, coming back to this, it was the British, one of the British residents or staff 
in the British you know, residency that realized that there are no more Malays in the center of KL. And they are the mana pergi dia. So, bukannya di pinggir, ada Melayu, this is watak bangsa Melayu. We don't want to bergaduh. And that's why we rather take the, tak ada, bukan rezeki sini, kita cari rezeki tempat lain. That's, right. that's why they move. That's why people like Sultan Poso and all the Mandalings, lepas perang saudara, because it was a fruitless, stupid war. Ah, cakap stupid war, marah pula. No, because two leaders who are, have no interest in the survival of KL wanted more tax. I mean, read about the details, you know. It's a shame, but those are the facts. And those are the facts we have to realize. Our generation must realize and correct that fact, make it known. So it was the British staff that realizes the Malays are gone. They're no more here. Ten years ago, they were here. So this is why it was suggested that a Malay area reservation should be here. Now, are we, the reservation concept is just like what's happening in America. Indian reservation, Red Indian reservation, and Aboriginal reservation in Australia. Now, that is their pattern of administration. And this is why, in this century, the realization is getting stronger and stronger. A lot of the people who were our colonialists, and mainly from Europe, realizes that they are wrong, inhumanly wrong. And they want to correct this. And this is why I made reference to the United Nations Charter of 2006 that agree that all artifacts and historical documents must be repatriated back to their respective countries. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then in Africa, for African, from the museum, the British Museum, a lot of skulls of the leaders of Africa well, are in their museum. And that is slowly being repatriated. And I did mention just now, there are some documents. And this is why when we talk about our history, we do not have the necessary uh, documents and artifacts and letters to support. Mr. Alcatel, just now, the story of, uh, the, uh, about the Imam. An imam appointment was formally appointed. It's not just Kamu je lah. Siapa jadi imam? Kamu je. No. There was civilization. There was intellectual input into all this. Yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Actually, Hajira has answered about 90% of the question. Yes, we came in as entrepreneurs. Cari nasib buat business and all that. But of course, some of us, some of us stayed back, like my ancestors, because I come from Kampung Birisu, Alu Gajah Malaka, and we became paddy planters, and we also have some plantations. I still have my, my what shall we say, paddy there. I still got my kerbau, I still got my lembu and all that. But of course, that is getting less and less because the new generation tak minat so many. They tak minat. This is our problem. You see, so, so that's why now I'm trying to initiate a move in my sekolah, which is next door to my family home, Wawasan. Wawasan Alugaja, I call it. And in this Wawasan study, I would like to interject or plant into the new generation, the younger generation, the spirit of Marantau and what it is like to be a Marantauist or entrepreneur. So this is very important. So, so that's why I'm spending a lot of time in this because my business, Alhamdulillah, is run by my son now, so I have plenty of time for this. And with my involvement with universities also will assist me in this process. Can we have a, another question? Please be succinct. Yeah, that's it. It's been time. Keep to the point. Assalamualaikum. Saya ada dua soalan. Siapakah pendatang siapakah penduduk asal sebelum penghijrahan orang-orang Sumatera? Kedua, adakah Jawa itu tergolong bangsa Melayu? Itu saja tuan. Minta maaf tuan eh. 
The Japanese part, I can answer to some extent because I worked in Indonesia for nearly four years as general manager then of Indonesia. And I used to travel the length of, it, of Indonesia from, Sa from Sabang to Merauke, I've been. The Japanese say they are Japanese. The only Malays that they have in Indonesia are people from Riau. Any other views from other Keturunan Jawa? I, I've heard the Javanese you know, reference to those who left the island of Java, Amlayus. They, they regard those who betray the island of Java, Amlayu. So it's in a sense derogative uh, of lesser, but that is their view. It, it doesn't affect me. I go there, I visit Jogja, and I know. And just for your benefit, I'm sure, this friend of mine just after a long absence, he finally contacted me last night. Dear uh, Keturunan Hangku Buono Kedua, who was banished to Pulau Pinang because the Dutch traded him with the British. So you take this guy, he's a real troublemaker, take it to your colony, Pinang. Pulau Jiraja for a few months. Satu community of about 80 or 180 people were brought from Jogja to settle in the British colony, which was uh, Pulau Pinang. Yeah? And after successfully interned in Pulau Jiraja for some time, they said, okay, now you can behave, you know, uh, give you what? What's the current word pardon or something like that, you know. Dato, can, can we have the views from others no, as well? Wait, wait. Yeah. I, I want yeah. to share yeah. this. So that, you see, and after that, when he was deemed to be able to stay in Penang, they must have pulled out Penang and settle and the, the British control them. Tak boleh integrate, tak boleh buat business and all that. So this is it. And this childhood friend of mine is here. He's coming next week. And we're going to talk about it because he comes from that family, Hanku Bono Tetapi, dia punya roots, mak dia punya mother keturunan Jepun. You know, the Hanku Bono and your family married into the Japanese, but their culture and practice is Melayu. They adopt and adapt into the Malay culture. So that's the power of being Malay. So this is why, jangan act, is what I always say. Jangan sombong sangat lah. You know, we are just carrying the genes of all our ancestors. Yes. That's why successors, uh, successors shouldn't disrespect predecessors. Yeah. So thank you, Dato. So we are going to close, uh, hard close at 12 p.m. So you better make your question short. Yeah? Okay. Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Muhammad. Saya berasal daripada Kuala Lumpur. Uh, saya adalah uh, boleh katakan amateur researcher lah, eh, kenal dengan sejarah. Jadi saya nak mengambil kata-kata daripada Datuk Dr. Sulaiman tadi, yang quote tadi tentang to, uh, uh, get your roots to claim your future. Know your roots to claim your future. So as a amateur researcher, when we want to know our roots, we must have the access to the information. Okay. Jadi, saya, dalam saya punya, uh, apa ni, saya dah ada hadapi masalah tentang kita mengatakan tentang digitalization lah, all the agencies, government bercakap tentang digitalization. Tetapi, apa yang saya hadapi, apabila saya nak tahu tentang, ya, maknanya saya nak access kepada online, Saya kena rujuk kepada sumber-sumber daripada luar negara. Saya kena buka National Library of Singapore untuk dapatkan petikan-petikan akhbar daripada tahun 1890-an. Dan saya kena pergi website Australia, University of Australia untuk cek peta yang tahun 1913 yang dah 100 tahun lebih. Jadi bila saya cuba nak access dengan local agency, your, we have a your problem. Question, your My problem Ni satu saranan lah. How we can improve this? As a, yelah, you, to know, to know, to know your roots, we must have access. But now the access in local sources, 
Is mengecewakan Jadi mungkin yeah. ada pendapat daripada Tuan 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 Harisa <laughs> Soalan yang very difficult to answer Because saya sebagai reporter pun mengenapi kesukaran Untuk mendapat maklumat-maklumat lama Daripada informasi uh, tempatan Malah kena pergi physically ke arkib negara Memohon mereka membantu But secara online memang sukar I hope I answer your question Actually, I, I always believe we should uh, always ask ourselves what we can do. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. Kita sendiri kena buat. Nah? So, this is one of the reasons why we have the session. So, kita tanya, bring forward. Uh, macam Haji Syahrir ni pun, kira by accident kan, dia uh, apa? Dia nampak satu post di Facebook, Abdul Razak Rulbis uh, got in touch with him, dapat tahu yang dia ni rupanya cicit kepada Haji Uthman kan. So kita jangan bergantung kepada kerajaan waiting for somebody else to do it. We should do it ourselves. Yeah? Okay, next question please. Thank you. Ass Assalamualaikum. Uh, good day, gentlemen. <laughs> But, uh, my name is uh, Razif Sen Abdullah. Um, my own young is from Kampung Baru. So I'm the, the first generation from originally from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so I want to tell you something that uh, my generations, most of the uh, people are staying or migrated uh, overseas. So like, uh, like you said that know your past to claim your future. Yeah, I, I really fully agree with it. My question is that What are your advice for the people like in my generations for me to contribute something positive for the younger generation after me, especially for the uh, people, original people of Kampung Baru or Kuala Lumpur and further to give a positive impact to the Malay community in the whole in this country. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask Haji Shahril to answer. Oleh kerana Haji Shahril ni kerja dia sama apa AADK tapi out of his own interest minat dia dia banyak mengumpulkan sejarah sejarah tentang uh, moyang dia eh? so, uh, menunjukkan we will yourself can do something but yeah Haji. Kenapa Haji? Mana kita nak kekal nak nak Sorry. Pertama sekali saya rasa apa, Kena ada jati diri Jati diri Jati diri Jati diri pada setiap individu lah Keduanya Kita selalu Meneroka-meneroka Benda bidang baru Mencari-mencari maklumat Mana sekali lah Tentang sejarah Terutama je tentang sejarah Dan Sejarah setiap zaman yang mana kita tinggal ni Sejarahnya Dan usaha mencari ilmu ni lah Dan bertanya Dengan mencari Alumat daripada orang-orang tua Dan daripada sumber-sumber yang lain lah Seperti media sosial Mengumpulkan sanak saudara Dan mendapatkan cerita-cerita lama Cerita-cerita dulu Dan kita kumpulkan Dan kita sebarkan Kedua, kita, kita sebarkan. Kalau kita, pada kita dia kena nak sebarkan, akan uh, berakhir pada diri kita dia. Apabila kita tak ada, warga cerita-cerita tu tidak ada di pada orang lain. Dapatkan ilmu, kita sebarkan. Terima kasih, Haji. So, just to also add, eh, uh, contohnya buku Abdul Razak Lubis tu, Salah satu one of the sources of his information is the people here, including Haji Sharif. Yeah, many of the the points are uh, sourced from them. So these are first-hand accounts from from passed down from generations. So again, uh, there was a question here. Okay, assalamualaikum. Saya kepada Datuk uh, Ghazali. Um, Datuk bagi tahu tadi Datuk pada ketika dulu adalah uh, a product of new era. 
Saya adalah product of a new era Maksudnya saya bukan orang KL Saya tak tahu pasal mandailing Somehow saya suka subjek ni Saya mungkin faham benda yang berbeza Dengan apa yang tuan-tuan dan puan-puan semua faham Beza umur kita pun jauh Jelas kan jauhnya Dan saya rasa yang sebaya saya pun Mungkin boleh dikira di, di sebelah tangan Soalan saya Sebenarnya ada harapan lagi tak untuk kita Berbincang tentang perkara ini Lebih proaktif ke depan Bercakap tentang generasi saya Memang ada Memang ada I'm actually the uh, chairman Of the Lembaga Peradaban Melayu For Malaysia And so also the pengasas Persatuan Cendekawan Minangkabau Malaysia Now saya advisor sajalah uh, Memang ada Memang ada uh, But we must do it through the institutions of higher learning Kita mesti kerjasama dengan research bodies internationally Bukan saja nationally But internationally So one of the things that I've done Is I've set up a professoral chair Named after my late mother Miriam Yusuf Chair With De La Salle University of the Philippines They are a Christian university But they would like to know more about the Malay culture and the Islamic culture. Jadi kita akan mulakan pelajaran ini tak berapa lama lagi. InsyaAllah next month. It took me a long time to start this course moving because of the COVID etc. etc. Tapi Alhamdulillah kita akan mulakan tak berapa lama lagi. So there is a future but we have to open our minds. That's why now I'm on the board of a few universities in Malaysia. Jadi I suggest this idea that we must now have collaboration with foreign universities. I now have collaboration with Tunisia, Uzbekistan, Iran, Turkey, the ASEAN universities, and of course, uh, Thailand and Singapore. Masih. So, memang ada. Memang ada. Yeah. Masih, Dato. Yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, nama saya Amir Guntur. Uh, 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 I've not got a question actually, you know, but uh, there's a burning uh, point in my mind, you know, that uh, I, I personally feel that uh, it needs um, further sort of cor- probably with respect, correction because it has been uh, this has been going on for years. Jadi orang banyak salah faham dan salah pengertian. Saya sebenarnya penasihat pada tiga persatuan, tiga generasi persatuan yang nak bawa. Nama saya Amir Guntur. Uh, actually, uh, saya ingin mengkaitkan dengan this divide and rule you know, uh, uh, issue. You know. Now, there is a clear example of divide and rule dalam every statement uh, penceramah kita dari ini soal Minangkabau. You know? uh, the Minangkabau nation is a big nation. You know? It is a nation. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu atau bahasa Minang, ya, ranah Minang itu. You know? It transcends... Uh, apa namanya, uh, political boundaries, uh, regional and district and uh, national boundaries. You know. Pengetahuan kita tentang uh, Minangkabau ini is, is a community that, uh, that um, uh, practices um, the matril- uh, uh, matrilineal punya, apa namanya, yes. uh, punya system, uh, keibuan itu. Ya. Jadi dalam penceramah tadi, setiap penceramah saya tengok, banyak orang Minangkabau saya sudah dipecah-pecahkan. That, 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 the work of the The colonialists, yeah. the Dutch and also the, the British, you know. Minangkabau, orang uh, Rawa, Rao, and orang Rawa, orang Pasaman, orang Batu Sangkar, orang Sawalunto, uh, the roots of uh, Prof. Ghazali come from, you know, orang Kampar, orang Tambusa, it is all of, of the Minangkabau nation, you know. Itu tempat-tempat ini adalah kampung-kampung mereka. So when they came over across, you know, Most of them came, you know, the generation of uh, the Prime Padri itu. Dia sebut hanya kampung mereka. Kami dari Tambusai, kami dari Kampar, kami dari Rao, or Rawa, bahkan tuan sini. So, these are all Minang, actually. So, the, 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 uh, the contribution of the Minangkabau community, if you take that division tree itu, is much greater than what has been said, actually. Itu is like, uh, I wanted to uh, okay, correct, you know. Make a spec capacity as an advisor to these three generations of Minangkabau associations in the country. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, Pak. I just want to advise you, the date has not been fixed yet because it all depends on the Duliya, the Yamtuan Negeri Sembilan. 
there will be an international Minangkabau conference in Negeri Sembilan, inshallah, later this year. In July, that's right. So all the Minangkabau of the world will be invited. We are expecting about six to eight thousand Minangkabau from all sectors of business, lah, economy, lah, to come Virgin Negeri Sembilan. And Yam Tuan Negeri Sembilan has agreed to host this event. So, now, this is one hell of a big function. So, now, this is the sort of thing we need to do. Huh? So we must get our act together. This so is the problem. Any more questions right, before we close? Yeah. Assalamualaikum. Saya Abdul Rahim Lubis dari Negeri Sembilan. Imami, cawangan Imami Negeri Sembilan. Saya nak bertanya Puan. Uh, tapi saya agak lucu lah soalan saya sebab tadi saya tengok agak serius kan. Berapa umur Puan? Bukan saya nak apa sebab kita satu marga. Dalam uh, adat orang ni apa uh, satu marga. Uh, Mendeling. Kalau saya tua, saya panggil Anggi. Kalau Puan tua lagi, saya panggil Anggang. Boleh apa berasa Mendeling lagi? Boleh berbahasa Mandeling? Tak boleh. <laughs> Kalau tahu tahu diri, saya nak tanya soalan dalam bahasa Mandeling. Sebab tadi hampir 95, ah, 95% bahasa Inggeris. Jadi, kalau <laughs> boleh tadi, saya nak soal dalam bahasa Mandeling. Uh, saya adalah keluarga yang keluar, apa ni, yang... Uh, tidak mempraktis akibat perang Selangor. Oh, tak apa. Uh, Jadi faham. <laughs> soalan saya ringan sajalah. Yeah. Tadi disebut Sultan Puasa. Yeah. Puasa kan? Sultan Puasa. Uh, tapi uh, yang sebenarnya Sultan Naposo. Yeah. Jadi agak jauh beza dia. Puasa dan Naposo. Mas, uh, dalam bahasa Mandiling, Naposo yang muda. Jadi kenapa disebut Sultan Puasa? Pasal dah terbiasa. Oh. Pasal saya tahu Naposa adalah yang bongsu dalam keluarga dia. Kerana itu dia nama Naposa. Mungkin Naposa. sebab yes. makna Naposa tu yang muda. Mungkin yeah. dia raja sultan yang muda. Uh, dia anak yang bongsu. Uh, jadi saya harap akan datang uh, disebut Naposa. Okey, terima kasih. Uh, Bagi yeah. orang mandai Terus. So uh, you are all welcome to stay on and chat with uh, yeah. Apa itu soalannya? Ah, nak tanya soalan dalam bahasa Mandarin. Uh, kalau saya bagi soalan pun tak ada yang jawab. Jadi saya bagi uh, bahasa lain lah. So, senang nak digunakan. Paling senang, okay bahasa Mandarin. Jadi nas, nak. Uh, Presiden pun dia modem mangan ya. Yeah. <laughs> Jadi maknanya kalau kita nak bertanya pada orang mendeling aha margamu, mana maksud dia apa suku kamu? Lain satu uh, kalau kita nak bertanya nak ke mana? Ke he tuji adomu, ke he tuji adomu. Jadi nak ke mana kamu? Ah itulah salah satu dia punya apa uh, dari bahasa Mandiling lah. Jadi rasa mungkinlah cukuplah tu. <laughs> dengan, dengan itu kami nak menutup majlis ya. Penduduk asal sebelum penghijrahan. Penduduk asal. Okey, uh, kalau berdasarkan pada maklumat adalah orang asli temuan yang duduknya di uh, Jalan Melaka. Tapi bila datang orang seberang, mereka, lagi pun mereka ada perjanjian social contract dengan waris negeri. Makna orang asli temuan duduknya di uh, belah kiri uh, kanan Sungai Kelang dan orang uh, yang batang baru duduk di kiri Sungai Kelang. Mereka dah telah membahagi tempat. Lepas pada Jalan Melaka, mereka pindah ke Dataran Merdeka dan mereka pun juga pernah tinggal di Bukit Nenas. Mungkin pada masa Perang Selangor, mereka bersama-sama dengan orang Deling duduk di kubu Bukit Nenas. Itu ha. so, Dengan itu, kami nak menutup majlis. Uh, saya minta maaf kerana saya tak dapat melanjutkan lagi. Dan kita punya hasrat pun memang untuk memperkenalkan, bring forward the people together. 
to learn, to find out and learn. Yeah, and this is how we learn. So masa pun tak mengizinkan. So dengan ini uh, saya nak mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada panel penceramah kami yang yang yang, yang, yang hebat. Yeah, terima kasih semua. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much again. So insyaallah kita akan we will have more topics. Do follow our apa uh, Instagram dengan Facebook. Yeah, terima kasih. So, yeah, friends of Taman Tugu. Friends of Taman Tugu, Instagram dan Facebook. Eh? Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nak ambil gambar eh, di depan. Eh? Semua nak cuba.